what has your experience been in the way he relates to his teammates and relates to the coaching staff? Well, Andrew is a team guy. I mean, he came back for a fifth year with no promise or guarantee that he had start, but that we would give him a fair chance to earn a starting job. We did. We gave him equal reps in the spring, equal reps through training camp. Watt nudged him out by a little bit, but he understands his role is very important. Um, so he isn't divisive or upset or you know, doing anything other than saying, hey, where, where can I contribute? So he's starting on two special teams, and he's the backup, like I said, right guard, backup left guard, and the third center. So, I mean, he has a great value to our team, and he has a great attitude. And comes to work every day, the meetings. You haven't seen any change in his demeanor since the decision was made other than continuing to try to get better, continuing to try to be a, a role player that can help us a lot of ways. With him working at center, does Golik get some – yeah, more reps of I mean more reps bit, of guard. Yeah. yeah, when we work him at second center, when we work Andrew at second center, then Golik takes his place at the second guard spot. So Golik's our fourth guard. How concerned are you beyond those top three guards? I mean, I, you're trying some different things, so you're not. So I'm not worried at all. Right I mean, Golik could be fine. Would be fine at guard. He's played in the last spring game. You know, played guard in there and did a nice job. So I mean, Mike could be could do the job we needed to do in there if we needed to get to a fourth guard. Back to Watt for a second. Is that the managing that aggressiveness when he has that great strength and making sure that the mechanics are already there? Is that a sort of a touch that a young lineman has to learn? Yeah, I mean, I just think they learn. I mean, you never want to take the edge off an aggressive guy. You just try to combine aggression with great technique. So that's all we've tried to do is take his norm, his body, which is a powerful, strong, explosive guy, a hard hitter, an attacking type of football player and then apply great technique with it. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, those that combination makes you pretty lethal. I mean, and that's where he's catching up a little bit with his experiences, the combination of technique and then just, uh, you know, the experience of kind of getting a feel for what's going on out there and how players play and how to make little adjustments according to the guy you're going against. And uh, that comes with time. 